since the state of emergency was declared, authorities at Marintal recorded or observed incidences where some people instigated the communities to defy the regulations. The defying of regulations mostly relate to operating hours for cooker shops and the sale of alcohol, which is banned due to the gathering of crowds. The regional leadership and the police have been issuing warnings to the instigators, but faced fierce resistance, including violent opposition, such as throwing of stones at the police, trying to enforce the regulations. The situation forced the NDF to back up the police and correctional service officials' operations to patrol the streets over the weekend. The suspicions are that the Shibins are secretly trading under the guise of cooker shops and the sale of non-alcoholic beverages. But this time around, the law enforcement agents would not have it. Residents are aware of the state of emergency regulations, or so they told NBC News, but equally claimed that they are confused by the operating hours for shops. Usually, we operate from 8 in the morning until 10 o'clock in the evening. Now, we are being told we must close at 6 o'clock. Hardab Regional Governor chairs the task and mobilization team on COVID-19, comprising youth, public and private sector stakeholders. Esmi Isak says the team has been conducting door-to-door -door information campaigns despite the defiance by some community members. And especially here in Marenta, they are full of ignorance. They are full of ignorance. They didn't obey to the regulations. I will only urge my people and I will plead to them, the heart of Britain, um, inhabitants, to obey the regulations of the state of emergency. With an imminent lockdown extension to include towns such as Marintal, authorities vow to tighten operations to ensure that the regulations are adhered to. People should understand that we are in a state of emergency. A state of emergency is, uh, has been declared and therefore certain movements, certain rights have been uh, taken, taken away. Mm -hmm. so that, that should be the message. Under the regulations, violators risk being given a spot fine of $5,000 or arrest. Blanche Correses, NBC News.